Hey guys, how are you guys doing? Today I am going to do a tutorial on this look right here. I was super duper inspired by dead trees. All the leaves are changing and the leaves are so, so pretty. There are emerald greens, coppers, oranges, browns. So today I'm sort of going to do an inspired fall leaf evening makeup tutorial. I think that will kind of fit what I'm having on my face right now. Not that anyone really wants to look like a leaf in modern days, but today we we will look like a leaf. And if you want to know how to get this sort of evening, fall inspired look, then please keep on watching. Bye. As always, the first thing I'm going to do is apply a base to my eyelids to prevent the eyeshadow from creasing, and I'm using my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. Okay, so let's start off by defining the outer parts of our creases with Shadester Blush by MAC. So just at the outer part of your crease, start defining it. Bananas! For the inner part of my crease, I'm going to use Rule Eyeshadow by MAC. And just to find the inner part of your crease with this. And then blend it with Shade Stir, as one does. Then I'm going to take some OS Silk Eyeshadow by MAC and sort of use this as a transition color. And just give that a nice blend. For the outer corner of my eyes, I'm going to use Max Mystery Eyeshadow. Oh, someone's waiting for me outside. And uh, with this, you want to go onto the outer part of your lower lash line and go in a little teeny tiny bit and then go into your crease with this and make it a really nice oval shape. Okay, back to the lid. To make my green pop a little bit more, I'm first gonna put a white base on on my lid. Uh. For this, I'm using my Chromographic Pencil by MAC in pure white. As I said, just apply this as a base to make the green pop. And for the green, I will be using MAC's Humid and Velvet Moss. I can't believe my eyes! It's green and green and even more green. And then just pat that onto your eyelids. Oh, it's so fallicious. It's so pretty. And I don't even like green. Go figure. Then remember mystery eyeshadow. Yeah, me neither. Put that on the remaining outer part of your lid and blend it in with the green and then sort of darken up the entire outer part right here as well and go a little bit down into sort of in between the orange and the green so orange green in between and just blend that really nicely together okay for the bottom i'm just going to put the two green colors underneath as well and kind of go to the inner corner and leave a little gap open for some gold And with my eyes, I like to go a little bit more down. For the inner corner highlight, I'm going back with my white pencil. Quickly highlighting the very inner corners with an off-white matte eyeshadow and blend it in. And for the inner corners, I'm going to use Amber Lights and Gold Mine. And then underneath, I'm going to define a little bit more with Shadester Blush by MAC. And this will give it a really nice deep set sort of look. For the glitter, you guys, I'm opening it right now. If I could ever, like, ever award a company for best glitter, it's either Lit, what I'm showing you right now, or OCC Cosmetics. This glitter right here by Lit called Soul Sister is, oh, all over my desk. This glitter, you guys, is like fall glitter in a jar. It is insane. This resembles every single fall leaf color that you can think of. So again, that is Soul Sister by Lit. And I will be applying that with my Lit Clearly Liquid Glitter Base. And this is awesome as well. And I'm sort of going to apply it to like the middle of my lid. So sort of when I blink my eyes, my eyes look wet because of the glitter.
and literally just laid on top of the glitter base. And you just want to make sure that as this is drying, don't look up because the glitter is still drying and when you look up there will be a crease in your glitter and it will look all wonky and weird. This is why I love my camera. When I go back, it goes out of focus and then you can really see that sparkle of that glitter. Look at how amazing that is. Okay, I'm gonna do some off-camera work now. I'm gonna line my waterline using this NYX slide-on pencil in tropical green. I'm gonna put some mascara on my lashes and this is the Shiseido Perfect Mascara Defining Volume Mascara. And for lashes, I'm just gonna fill up my corners right here. Um, I'm gonna use these Brances Individual Eyelashes in number 43. Never ever heard of this brand before but I saw them lying in my laying. Were they lying or laying? Nobody knows. I'm gonna use these lashes and I'm just gonna cut off the outer third part. So cut and then put that on your outer part of your lash line. Okay, so I already quickly did my lips. Um, I kept it really, really simple, not too nude, not too dark, neutral. So not nude, not dark, just in between and fresh. So I used the Clinique Chubby Stick Moisturizing Lip Color Balm in number 12, oversized orange. It's really, really sheer. For the cheeks, I'm first gonna contour a bit with my NYX Blush in Taupe. And then on your temples as well, and going onto your forehead. Warming up my face a little bit more with my Illamesca blush in Disobey. For blush, I'm going to use this super gorgeous shimmery color. This is Blusher Lumiere by Makeup Studio, and this is Elegant Beige. Smile. Put it on them apples, girl. And then as a highlighter, I'm going to use my Extra Dimension Skin Finish by MAC in Whisper of Guilt. And that, guys, completes my Fall Leaves-inspired sort of evening makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. For a full list of every single product used, go to my website, NikaTutorials.com. I really, really want to thank you guys because in my last video, I talked about my blog not having a lot of comments and I put so much work into it. Literally, the morning after that video went up, my blog had like 60 new comments. And that was so like, it really means a lot to me because now I really have some people that I write for. So please go ahead and check out my blog for what I used today if you missed any. If you want to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, that all is Nika Tutorials. I hope you enjoyed today's video and um, goodbye. I love you. Bye guys.